Now, in a similar vein, the Good Morning Britain co-presenter Piers Morgan has made no secret of his distrust of Meghan. Yesterday, he said on air he didn't believe what she said about her mental health issues. That prompted 41,000 complaints to Ofcom, the most in a single day. On this morning's programme, he had a row with weather presenter Alex Beresford about Meghan and stormed off the set. Tonight, ITV said Piers Morgan had decided to say goodbye to Good Morning Britain. Mm. And I understand that you don't like Meghan Markle. You've made it so clear a number of times on this programme. Even by the standards of a show in which confrontation is nothing new, this between two of its presenters this morning was extraordinary. But yet you continue to trash her. OK, I'm done with this. No, no, no. Sorry, no, oh, sorry. Uh, so, do you know what, that's pathetic. You can trash him, maybe, not my no, own No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm being... So Sorry, can't this do this. is absolutely diabolical behaviour. The clash followed Piers Morgan's angry on-air reaction yesterday to the interview the Duchess of Sussex had given to Oprah Winfrey, Morgan saying he didn't believe her. This is a two-hour trash-a-thon of our royal family, of the monarchy, of everything the Queen has worked so hard for. So were you thinking of harming yourself? Were you having suicidal thoughts? Yes, this was... Very, very clear. The fact that she'd spoken about her mental health resulted in a huge backlash against the GMB presenter. The mental health charity Mind saying it was disappointed and concerned and the watchdog Ofcom receiving 41,000 complaints. This evening ITV issued a statement saying, following discussions with ITV, Piers Morgan has decided now is the time to leave Good Morning Britain. ITV has accepted this decision and has nothing further to add. Right now, it's never been more important that as a nation we keep talking. The incident will have been of particular concern to the network after its high-profile launch in 2019 of Britain Get Talking, a mental wellness campaign encouraging people to talk openly about their issues. I can't comment on what he should or shouldn't do. I think it's just a shame that he... he didn't think quickly enough to realise just how important it is for the thousands of people out there who are struggling with their mental health. Piers Morgan was hired to co-host Good Morning Britain six years ago. Uh, <laughs> Piers Morgan is here for what, a few days? Or for no, no, I'm here permanently. It's your <laughs> ultimate nightmare, I'm afraid. <laughs> His outspoken and often controversial views dividing opinion on screen and online. In the past week, the show has reported its highest ratings ever. But one former guest says now the presenter has overstepped the mark. If you hire a Rottweiler for its ability to bite, you can't then be shocked when it actually bites. When Morgan returned to the set this morning, shortly after he'd walked off, he attempted to explain his views on mental health. Mental illness and suicide, these are clearly extremely serious things. They should be taken extremely seriously. And if somebody is feeling that way, they should get the treatment and the help that they need. But the damage had clearly been done. This would be his last appearance on The Breakfast Show. Nina Nanar, News at 10.